Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers should exercise caution when watching this program as it may contain images of deceased persons. 2016, Jiddy Jiddy Aboriginal School celebrated its 20th anniversary. The school has a 99% Indigenous population and is unique because it combines the teaching of Noongar culture and language with other subjects. This in turn nurtures students' identity and culture while also preparing them for high school education and beyond. Jitty Jitty Aboriginal School, nestled just outside of Bunbury, has been quietly and successfully balancing the education of Noongar kids whilst instilling pride in their culture and identity for over 20 years. Last year they celebrated not only their 20th anniversary, but also their most promising academic results to date. Principal Tegan Davis has been a crucial part of achieving these results and knows the school inside and out. The best way that I can describe Jiddy Jiddy is as a really dynamic and vibrant learning environment. It's all of this and more. It's one of the few dedicated Aboriginal schools in the country. It's one of only 26 schools in the state that teach Indigenous languages and it's proving that Indigenous kids can meet and beat the expectations placed on them. The reason why it was established was because Aboriginal children had chronically low attendance rates they were pretty well disconnected from their local mainstream school and that was of great concern to the government but also to the local Noongar community. In the last few years the school has seen a sharp turnaround in student behaviour and results and this has been due to a significant and deliberate change in teaching style. We have a lot of visible learning so the children know exactly what they need to learn. If they don't quite know it at the class level, then I get them to go home and practice, so we're giving them some responsibility as well. Children are so visual, so I use this, and the teacher and I are on the same page of this, and so if they're sitting on the mat, this is how we sit, and it really helps them just to remember, because children will move around and it just gets their focus back, and just it just really helps them to get back on task, to just look at you and know what to do. And it's very, you know, less words, please. And lots of love, lots of love here. For us, it's really been a journey about changing the tide of low expectations. We set the bar very, very high for our kids, and not all of them meet it, but they are aspirational targets that our kids continue to work towards. Deputy Principal Sam Goodlad was specifically brought in to reinvigorate and support their new teaching plan. We teach and assess on a five weekly cycle. So what that looks like is across the whole school the students are assessed in week one. I then meet with teachers, reflect on their data and then set targets for individual students. The success of this new teaching style is best represented in the school's NAPLAN results. Our NAPLAN results this year were probably the most exciting we've had over the course of the last four years. Just about in every area in year three and year five, our students came out in green, which was above the expected mean for the school. The restructuring of the teaching style is done alongside dedicated teaching of Noongar language and culture. Kim Stockwell is the Noongar language teacher and recognises the value of teaching this language. They're very proud to know something that somebody else doesn't, that no one else can teach them, really. And I often say to them, take that home and, and teach your brothers and sisters just to keep revisiting that language. We are really a family of teachers and education assistants. There's no sort of tall poppy syndrome. We're here for one cause, and that's to see our children progress in their education. Like Principal Davis told us from the start, the school is fun, vibrant and dynamic. And this is clear to anyone who visits.